Are you ready to make the evil empire shudder in its un-American boots like the terrorist bastards they are? Well, my hawkish friends, have I found a game for you. The 1996 continuation of the Strike series published by EA was not only the first Strike game available for post-cartridge systems, it was a smooth transition for the isometric helicopter shoot 'em up It was also full of mid-90s style attempts at making FMVs look good, and rode out the coattails of the stereotypical video game portrayal of the Soviets seven years after the wall was torn down. This is Soviet Strike from Electronic Arts for the PlayStation, a game that shines in its sophisticated design and challenging sequence of missions. International terrorists have found the opportunity to seize six areas of the former Soviet Union, and they aren't going anywhere soon. But to their chagrin, the Apache attack helicopter is back, and it's armored to the teeth with a classic machine gun and missile combination that make it the choice for a full-scale assault on the many terrorist bases that are scattered around each level. Oh, shoot me! As it was in the 16-bit days, Soviet strikes levels are full of missions for you to accomplish. Some within a certain amount of time, all needed to be completed with a finite amount of armor, fuel, and ammunition. But don't worry, as per usual, the game's difficulty is totally manageable. If your work history includes CIA operative. Soviet Strike is not just any shooter you'll see at a video arcade, and it takes skill and good timing to carry out its missions quickly and effectively. Your enemies are now smarter, and aren't just standing around all the time. They have duties to carry out in order to bring themselves a little closer to world domination, and will be patrolling certain areas as well as waiting to ambush you if you should stray too far in a terrorist compound. In order to really give the insurgent scum a run for their money, you must learn how to maneuver your Apache attack helicopter to the best of your ability. Its speed and quick response to the use of your D-pad is not a mistake in design. It's meant for you to use against surface-to-air batteries, tanks, and foot soldiers with RPGs. I'll often hit a target with a Hellfire missile, then fade away like Wilt Chamberlain as I pound it with machine gun fire. Soviet Strike will scream into your ear now more than ever, too, and its presentation smacks of nostalgia like the X-Files and Ecto Cooler. Receive status updates from HQ when the warning appears on your screen by pressing Start, and you'll get the latest on your POW mission straight from the prison camp. Strike. This is Nick Arnold. I've been taken prisoner with several other agents. They're having some not-so-nice Q&A sessions and using the firing squad like it's the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Now get us out quick! Or give us a Viking funeral. As for the visual quality, Soviet Strike has aged like 2% milk, but you can tell that people were impressed in 1996. It's almost like flying over a pixelated 3D map of any Command and Conquer game, preferably Red Alert. Soviet Strike is a 32-bit look at challenging video games before the turn of the millennium, and this romp through Eastern Europe can still provide for a challenge today. So get out there, and blast away, soldier. Looks like we cheated death and he's ticked off.